I'm Kirsty, and I'm Zach's mum. Uh, we first noticed that something wasn't right with Zach's hearing when he was around 18 months old and he wasn't talking, uh, he also wasn't walking at that point. Zach's deafness meant that he struggled to make friends. He, when he started school at almost five, he had around about 50 words, uh, which is significantly less than other almost five-year-old children. So he automatically had a barrier to not being able to communicate with other children. Um, he didn't get invited to parties, um, he didn't get invited to play dates um, and it was a, a big deal for him to see other children going off and doing lots of fun things together and, and him not being included. Uh, as he got older he started to understand more about things like uh, fire alarms and, and what, the, what the purpose of them was and he would say uh, he needed to play around my feet and where he could see me because he wouldn't hear me call him. He was also worried that I might say, give a, a general call that, you know, there's cake in the kitchen um, and he'd miss out on the cake, which is equally important when you're six. Uh, it's very difficult for him to follow a conversation when it's with more than one or two people or where there's a lot of background noise. And excess noise tends to um, make him withdraw into himself. Um, and bedtime is a big issue for Zach because he was becoming more aware of what he couldn't hear and he would say that he couldn't close his eyes because then he couldn't see and he couldn't hear. Sleep became a really big issue which had an impact throughout uh, all of his life. Um, sleeping is the most difficulty because um, I sometimes have night terrors and nightmares. I sometimes think that there were monsters in my room. Um, I can't hear or see around. Mummy and Daddy try to do music and sometimes they had to sit down to me until I fall asleep. Christmas in particular uh, was always a very difficult time, especially for Zach, but the ramifications of that were, were on the whole family. And obviously at Christmas everybody's excited, everybody talks over the top of each other, there's music on, people are laughing, and there's more people in a small space than you would normally have um, and for Zach that would get very overwhelming and so he would look forward to it and look forward to it and then the actual day would be so difficult for him to be able to, to take part in and so he would find that very difficult to, uh, to be with family which is the thing that he wanted to do. With Echo at Christmas we kind of like um, play lots of games with him we threw his Christmas toys around. We make sure that I can have Christmas present and a Christmas dinner and a doggy mince pie when I give him the present. And he's always wagging his tail. Don't you, Echo? Yes, you do wag your tail. Echo came to live with us on a Thursday. Um, and on the Friday night, Zach decided that all of the coping mechanisms that he had. He decided that he didn't need any of that. He said, Echo will keep me safe. And the hearing aids came out, the light went off, the music went off, um, and he went to sleep within 15 minutes. Zach's confidence also um, increased massively, even within the first few days that he was with us. Um, on the last day that the trainers were handing Echo over to us, we went into school to do a little mini assembly to all of Zach's year group. And Zach decided that he was going to stand up and he stood up and said, OK, everybody, this is Echo. He's my hearing dog. This is what I've been doing for the last few days. Of This is how he helps me. Um, this is how he alerts me to things. Every single adult in the room stood there open mouthed at this confident child that suddenly appeared in the last few days that um, that wasn't in school before Echo arrived and now all of a sudden he was there with, with these bags of confidence. Echo came and he changed everything. Um, he helped me hear. If it's like a timer, um, I say, what is it? And he takes me to the sound. That's also um, for the um, call. Zach can be as involved in Christmas as, uh, exactly as he wants to be. Um, that when he wants to be involved with everybody, he can be. And when he wants that quiet time on his own, he doesn't have to do that on his own anymore because he can take Echo with him. He was very definitely not on his own because he had his very big and hairy friend with him to keep him company. Um, he made sure Echo had Christmas presents. Uh, he made sure Echo had a Christmas dinner. Uh, and of course the doggy mince pie as well. Uh, and he doesn't feel like he's separated from the family anymore because Echo's part of the family um, and he goes with him. 
he's handsome and hero. Um, he's adorable and I love my dog. He changed my life.